This is code.org, and we're going to instantiate a dessert object called my dessert. Okay. Ooh, coconut. I cannot tell you in words how much I hate coconut passionately, especially in, like, desserts. Coconut is not a dessert. It is a... Is it a, is it a nut? No, it's a... Hmm. What's up? It is a fruit. I did just double check that. I'm saying, though, a fruit and a dessert. No. Anyways, coconut. Fine, code.org making me do this all right uh let's go dessert right we're instantiating a new object do they ask me oh i'm gonna name this object this variable that's representing the instantiated object the object uh, my dessert and it's gonna be equal to and we should know how to make this happen we have to ask it to run the constructor so this is where we write new and then dessert bam bam because what are we asking right now right now i just told the computer hey i have this new thing what type of thing is it? It's a dessert object. Okay. I named it my dessert. Now, what values do I need it to have? Well, it's going to be equal to a new dessert. And the computer though, thus far says, okay, dessert, check. That's the name. Oh, new dessert. Okay. Well, where's this? Oh, it's over here. Blop. Okay. And now let me look for what to one. Oh, right, right there. And it sets it up like that. However, we're going to give it values. So what values do we got here? We're going to do cocoa nuts, which are feelings on for the flavor, and 1.75 for price. Make sure to throw in a semicolon. And so now what? Oop, I deleted something. That's not great. So now what this should run, instead of doing the default constructor, it's going to go zoop, run because we have values now. Price, I mean flavor and price, and it's going to set flavor and price up here. Right? So flavor will, after this runs, be equal to new flavor. Price will be equal to new price. That is looking good. So let's go ahead and hit run. And I just want to double check this. So system dot out, because they have it right here. I don't think it technically says to, but I don't care. I want to know. Does it, what's it going on in here? System the mm hmm and then I'm gonna put flavor in quotes, and we can now we have that fancy method. I can do my dessert dot get flavor, boom, and this should provide me the flavor. Well, it should. Oh, I misspelled it. But ah, uh, coconut. I'm just gonna copy this because I want to show you price too. And what these are running, guys, is what we made last lesson, right? Here, get flavor, get price. Or whatever you named it. Maybe you named it give me the flavors. And if you named this give me the flavors, then that's what you would run there. Cool. Looking good. And let's just move this. I'm noticing right here we're supposed to do this down here. So, quick cut. I just did control V to paste that. I, mean, I don't know, something like that. Or did they have two spaces? Not really sure. Beautiful. Good to go. Onward.